this is very sad left my husband he knew right. what it was up front right he ended up going broke i have expectations when you don't wow. meet my expectations i move the hell on you left your husband wow. because he went through a little financial struggle Indeed. wow at any point in time did you wow. feel that love should have kept you there I nope. feel like he didn't love me because if he did, he wouldn't have went through a financial struggle. Wow. A man that loves a woman don't go through hard times. I don't think... Wow. 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 This is the modern woman. This is the modern woman for you. This is the modern woman for you. But again, I'm not just going to totally blame her. Because if you understand in this video, she said... From the start and the beginning of this video, she said something. She said, she said the man, her husband, knew up front what he was getting into. This man saw the red flags before marrying such a lady. And the thing I've understood, I've come to understand that we all see the red flags. Like both men and women. We all see the red flags. Like, as a man, if you think you are going to get married to a woman using money, when the money finishes, she's going to leave you. She's going to leave you. If she married you for money, she's going to leave you once the, mar once the money is gone. That is simple logic. Never use money to get married to, 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 to invite a woman into your life through marriage don't use money for that because guess what if in fact don't chase a woman because if you chase a woman if you use money to get a woman you will need money to keep her I repeat if you use money to get a woman you are going to need money to keep her if you, again and another thing and another thing is this if you chase a woman if you chase a lady if you chase her you will end up chasing her for everything i repeat if you chase a woman you are always going to end up chasing her for everything after marriage you are going to chase her for sex you are going to chase her for affection you are going to chase her for love you are going to chase her for every single thing so the answer is don't chase if she says no the first time leave her alone the reason i'm saying this i'm not saying this because i want women to be cheap to look cheap i'm saying this because when a woman is also interested in you you too will build a healthy better relationship with each other it would benefit the both of you is it is 50 50. i know it's not possible to have a 50 50 love because no matter what happens there's always that one person that loves more than the other but that shouldn't stop you from marrying someone that understands that is kind that is loving never use money to marry a woman if you do if you use money to get a woman you are going to need money to keep her be warned be warned i don't care whatsoever whosoever whatsoever pastor that told you that you whatsoever you if you dare use money to attract a woman you are going to use you are still going to need money to keep her sometimes it's very very good to do and to do an experiment on the people you are in a relationship with tell her you are broke tell her you don't have money and see what she would do always learn to be with people that are ready to be with you don't chase any woman who is not interested in you you are only going to end up stressing your life it's, you're only going to end up stressing your life guys you're only going to stop 
imagine what the lady said the, the lady said if she if this guy loves her if this guy loves her if this guy loves her he will never go broke as if the guy knew tomorrow again guys nobody knows tomorrow okay so that is why it's very important to marry someone who is also interested in you so they will not leave you or disrespect you just because you lose everything because this is the one of the most common things we find in marriages when a man goes broke the lady will insult that man it's one of the most common things we find in marriages today the church is not helping matters people women are no longer soft and kind towards men you know the blame game the blame game doesn't work because men are the ones expected to chase men are the ones expected to to go after to come after you ladies so in the end i'm telling the men right now don't go after a woman who is not interested in you she will manipulate you use you as a laughing stock don't be a sec a second option to a lady never you be a second option to any lady don't do it don't do it don't let any lady stress your life don't let any woman think she's doing you a favor by marrying you I repeat this again don't ever think a lady is doing you a favor by marrying you that is wrong that is wrong she will treat you like a dog I repeat she will treat you she will treat you like a dog don't ever think that a lady is doing you a favor by marrying you that is a lie from the pit of hell that is a big lie from the pit of hell she's not doing you a favor she is not doing you a favor by marrying you okay she's not she's not and always stay away from women who use this um, who use children who use giving birth who use giving birth to try to destroy to to try to guilt to guilt shame you stay away from women who use giving birth or childbearing to guilt shame you to say oh because i'm going to be have given birth to your kids no it is not your kids it's our kids nobody should force any lady to get married to if she says no leave her let her go her own way if you as a lady you choose to have kids and you are like oh i gave birth to your children that is a manipulative woman stay away from those types of ladies they are dangerous wicked and heartless no you are not doing a man favor a favor you're not doing a man a favor by marrying him you're not doing a man a favor by giving birth to children that are yours and his no there's nowhere in the bible where um, the bible says oh a woman does a man a favor by marrying him no you both join together you both are in this together you are not doing a man a favor by marrying him and if you don't want to to get married stay single enough with the pride you are not god you are not god woman you are not god no wonder if in the garden wanted to be like god she wanted to be the boss babe no wonder god took away her authority and said hey because you want to be god i will put you under the man spiritually so women be careful because you are repeating the same sin eve did in the garden she wanted to be the boss she wanted to be god I'm not telling you to be a weakling. I'm not telling you to be to just follow any whoop any man. I'm not telling you to go marry a lazy man. And just like I said, we all see the red flags, whether it's a man or a woman. So whenever someone is in a bad relationship, 
The first thing I do is I shake my head and I laugh. Why? Because we all saw the red flags. There are no arranged marriages going on today, especially in the Western world. So that is why I'm saying we all see the red flags, male or female. So please do not ignore red flags. Never you ignore the red flags you see. Love everybody. But when it comes to marriage, be very careful with whom you choose to get married to. You can hate me from one to night. But again, this advice is enough for the wise. Again, guys. Again, guys. If you are listening, just like I said, don't let a woman think that she's marrying you and she's doing you a favor. Never you do that. No woman is doing you a favor by marrying you. Don't do that. Don't do that. Be a man. Stand your ground. If they say no, move on to the next. Okay? Those are big red flags. I'll see you guys in the next video. And remember, Jesus loves you. And I will see you guys in the next video. And peace.